Hello, you! Yeah, this is David calling from Canada. Who's excited for today? It's semi-finals number one. I'm so excited. Took the day off of work because I believe the contest starts at one o'clock here. So it's right in the middle of my work day. So I took the day off because I love Eurovision, as you can tell with all my videos. So today I'll be doing a predictions for semi-final number one. So this is after watching the rehearsals. As well, I did take into what the fans like. So I'm not always one that picks the songs that are gonna do well. Example, last year, Latvia was my absolute number one. Come absolute last place. So yeah, I don't pick the winners usually. Actually, the last time I picked a winner was 2010. So. I'm going to be going from the list of the top 10, so who will be qualifying, and then the ones I think will not be qualifying. So at number 10, so that's the last for the qualifiers, would be Austria. Number 9, Croatia. Number 8, Armenia. Number 7, Lithuania. Number 6, Greece. Oh God, I love that song. Number 5, Portugal. It's by far my favorite Portuguese song. Last year was really close, but oh my god. Amazing song. I hope it does well. Number four, Norway. This is such a fun, quirky song. I think it's going to do really well in the contest. Number three, the Netherlands. One of my favorites. We've had such strong songs this year. So my number two is Albania. And number one is Ukraine. So the ones that I don't think will qualify are... So the last place, I think, will be Denmark. So it's one of my last place songs as well. Number 16 will be Latvia, which is really sad because it's my number four for that entire contest this year. Oh, it's so quirky. It's so fun. I love the song, but I don't think it's going to do well. Number 15 is Moldova. That's my number 11 this year. It's such a fun, quirky... It's just... If you know me, I love fun and quirky songs, so I hope it does okay. Number 14, Slovenia. I love disco, but I don't think this is strong enough. Number 13 is Switzerland, so it's my number 9 this year. So as you can tell, my favorites don't do too well with other fans. I just, maybe we have different tastes here in Canada compared to Europe, I don't know. My number 12 is Bulgaria, and my number 11 is Iceland. So, what did you think of this list? Do you agree with it? I will be going back after the contest to see who goes through to see if my predictions were correct. But I do think Ukraine is going to do really well. Is it my favorite song? No, it was my number 12, I believe. It's a good song. I like it. Just, I liked Alina Pash. Is that what her name was? I liked her song a lot better, but oh well, we know what happened. So, I do think Austria and Croatia might struggle a bit to get into the finals. So, if I had a pick, I think those two might struggle, and Iceland and Bulgaria, even Moldova, might get through to the finals. So, I'd love to hear what your list is, and who will be watching Eurovision. So, I'll be watching on the YouTube app. I used to always watch on the German TV, either Swedish or German, because I understand it. But this year, they have it on YouTube, which, if you haven't known in the past, they used to block all the YouTube, like, the live videos from, oh gosh, I think it was 2011 until 2019 in Canada. So we couldn't actually watch any of the live performances. So we had to go to other countries' websites just to be able to see the performances, which is really unfair. But, yeah. They have changed that in the last few years. So, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you like my video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.